Hi guys, it's Monica. In this video, I am going to share with you a couple of things that I do that allows me to exfoliate my skin every single morning, even though I use Retin-A almost every single night. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But before I tell you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Please make sure you like and you comment on the videos. I do my best to answer all your questions in a timely manner. Sometimes it might take me a little bit, but I always get back to you all. So thank you all so much for subscribing and for supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. I've been using Retin-A for, oh gosh, almost a year and a half now. I wish I could tell you a year and a half later that the ugly phase that you all hear about with Retin-A use goes away. Maybe it does on some people's skin, but it has not on mine. It is a continuous struggle to control the flakes and the reactions that I have from my Retin-A use. Overall, my reactions have been not bad at all. I've had flakies, I've had some peeling. I, I only once had some really sore areas and that was from overuse on my end. However, the past year and a half just about has been very much up and down, you know, as far as my Retin-A use. It's a learning experience. And what I'm gonna share with you may not work for you, or it may as well. So just do your own research. One of the things that I do is and I wish I had started it sooner, but I have learned to exfoliate my skin every single morning. And what I've done is because at night I go through my three cleansing and then I go through my serums and then I put on my Retin-A, I have my routine pretty well down pat at night. I, in the morning, to get up, get a clean face cloth, hot water and then I just put it over my face just kind of to soften my face to open up my pores so to speak. I don't really wash in the morning because my face is clean. The only thing on my face would have been the Retin-A I applied the night before and my B Venom cream. So I kind of soften my face and then I go and I take and I've been using this for quite a while. This is from Studio 35 Beauty. I get it right at Walgreens. I can imagine you could probably also get it on Amazon. But this is Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I then take this cream, and I've used quite a bit of it. It's almost empty. I know you probably can't see it. But I take this cream, and I put it all over. I avoid the eye area, obviously, and I avoid going you know, into any of the really crevices. But I put it all over, especially in the area of my skin where I'm terribly flaky, and I'm always flaky in this area. I've been flaky on my upper lip. I've been flaky on my nose, my forehead. So my skin changes with the seasons. It really does. Right now it's been it's spring season, although I really don't consider it spring here. It's been so cold and raw and rainy and snowy. It hasn't been very nice weather. So I take this every morning and I put it on my skin. And depending on my day or my morning, I typically get up sometimes 5.30, 6 o'clock. So for the first hour or so, this is on my skin while I'm drinking coffee, while I'm answering comments, etc. And then after about an hour or so, I come into the bathroom and I take one of these ex exfoliating gloves. I buy the cheapies. In my family, I'm the only one that uses these, so these are mine. I buy the cheapies, they're at the dollar store. They're not as rough as maybe some of the you know more expensive ones, but I absolutely love it. So then I will wet my glove and then I will take it and I will rub gently with this exfoliation all around my face where I applied the cream. And I can see the dry patches and I can see the dry skin lifting and I'm almost peeling it off gently with this. Never to the point where I'm digging or rubbing or tugging or having raw red skin at all. I'm just peeling away that outer layer of dead dry skin. This helps lift it. This helps take it off. I absolutely love doing this. So I don't leave this on. I do this very different than the directions. The directions will probably tell you to leave it on overnight. I don't. I just put it on in the morning and I put it on pretty heavy. And then I take it and I exfoliate it off. And along with the cream comes my dead skin. I absolutely love doing that. I also have one of these gloves at work. So if I have a dry patch, which is very frequent, 
I'll go wet it, I'll go in the ladies room and I will gently, without any kind of cream or anything of that nature, I'll just gently exfoliate my skin. I have a roller jar of my favorite face oil in the office and I typically will apply some of that afterwards and also down around my eyes. And then I'll just touch up some of my makeup. But exfoliating every single day has really made it so that my skin is nicer, plumper looking, younger, fresher looking skin. I really believe that getting rid of that old skin and then applying my serums and my makeup, everything is gonna look better. When you have a nice, fresh canvas, you've gotten rid of all the old, stuff, the dry flaky stuff, and you apply the makeup, it's going to sit better and look better. So since I started exfoliating every day, it's made a huge difference in my skin. I'm totally amazed. The other things that I use for exfoliation is I do use the Derma E Microabrasion. I love this scrub, but this is more of a nighttime scrub for me. So I probably do this two, maybe three times a week. I also use my Body Memory in any other type of glycolic scrub or wash that I can to get as much of the dead skin off. I have a glycolic toner. I really like that. I have a couple of different toners. But during the day, it is this type of an exfoliation that I start with. And after I've removed that, I go into my serums and then I'll go into my makeup. The other thing that I've been doing is I've been exfoliating my lips with a very gentle, gentle, gentle scrub. So I've been exfoliating my lips and then every night I put on a lip mask. This one lap mask that I've been using is Ginger Sugar and this is an overnight lip mask I bought off of Amazon. I will link it. I think it was Gin Amber or somebody else that had talked about this a few months back. I really like it. I've been using it a lot. And I really like how when I wake up in the morning, my lips feel really, really good. It's I think it's a little over $20, but I really like it. And then I got this Mamond Lip Sleeping Mask, Plum Blossom. I got this from the Octoly website. I don't know if you can see this. So this was sent to me. I am loving this sleeping mask. So this is like Plum Blossoms. It doesn't really have a smell, but neither does the other one. I put this on, and and I, I don't know which one I like better, to be honest with you. They are both, both wonderful. This one, the difference between this one and the ginger sugar, when I put it on, this goes on very, very smoothly on my lips. It makes my lips kissable, <laughs> to, to quote my husband. Whereas the other one is a little bit more thicker, a little bit more tacky feeling on the lips. But when I wake up in the morning, I never have dry lips overnight at all. So I'm loving these two products. I just wanted to share with you some of the exfoliation things that I do for my mature skin with Retin-A. Using Retin-A almost every night, you can imagine the turnover that my skin is going through. And I think exfoliation is a total, total necessity. I am fortunate now that I'm at the point where I can exfoliate my skin every single morning. So that said, I will just repeat again to do your own research. As a real estate professional, one of the things that I've learned over the course of time is that we are the source for the source. In other words, we will guide our buyers and our sellers to and give them the information and guide them through the process. They think about it. They make their own decision. They check it out. They explore their options. We empower them by exposing them to what can happen. And the same thing with skincare. You know, I feel sometimes when we talk about products where I wish somebody had empowered me like that years ago to know about these things. But I also know that no matter what anyone said, I would be doing my own research. And that's what I want you all to do. I might be the source for the source. This is working for me on an everyday basis with this. The exfoliations made a big difference, but it may not work for you. So I just want you to be aware of that. And I am not a medical expert. I'm not a skincare expert. I'm not a beauty expert. I'm, I'm just a real estate agent exploring skincare and really, really liking the results. I'm getting. 
So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a, a great week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.